Hi everyone, this is Candy Johnson. I am your host and this is Real Talk, brought to you by Real Law Records. Um, today's topic is fear is a liar. All right. Um, I went to a church for uh, about nine years and um, during the nine years that I went to that church, I learned a lot of things. So I am grateful for uh, the time that I did uh, attend uh, that particular church because um, despite what popular opinion is, uh, there are some church churches out there that are teaching some really good uh, lifestyle life skills uh along with the spiritual uh doctrine and uh, this particular church that i was attending was one of those churches so i'm grateful to have uh, been a member of that uh, church perhaps not for nine years but i am still thankful for uh attending because i did get some uh, very valuable uh, life lessons out of uh my uh, membership there okay and one of the life lessons that i learned while attending this particular uh, congregation was uh, the acronym for fear uh, well not i didn't just learn the acronym for fear but um the teaching that was taught about uh fear and how it uh, affects us and keeps us from reaching our goals or how it affects us in our, um, you know, believing in ourselves and it, it really affects people's uh, self-esteem and stuff like that. It, it really takes a toll on you mentally when you are uh, overwhelmed by fear. All right. And so um, the pastor of this particular church was uh, very practical in uh, the teachings. And she would use very simple ways of demonstrating uh, uh, whatever it is that she was trying to get across to us, the, the lesson. Uh, she would use very practical means of doing that. And in teaching us about fear, uh, she uh, incorporated an acronym to the word fear that would help us to relate relate, uh, relate to the understanding of uh, what fear really was, okay? And get, it, get an understanding of the definition of fear. And I'm gonna share that acronym with you all today in, in hopes that it would I could uh, pay it forward, so to speak, um, because this uh, particular lesson was very valuable to me in life and is still valuable to me uh, even after having uh, left this particular congregation. Um, that acronym is F, fear, E, uh wait a minute uh that lettering in fear is f e a r all right so f standing for false e standing for evidence a standing for appearing and r standing for real all right as a matter of fact i'm gonna make a meme so that i can make this very clear and, and and relay that understanding to you all with the imagery as well to to relate to uh the understanding uh but false evidence appearing real is what fear stands for so uh in collaboration with the title fear is a liar it's false evidence all right it's not 
real, okay? Uh, with, uh, I have come across things in life that I feared. I didn't think of those things as being false. To me, they were very real and uh, very apparent. And it was like, uh, can't you see this? This is this is really a bad thing. It's really horrible. It's, it's really scary. But the truth of the matter was, which is uh, opposing uh, to being a lie, but it, 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 the truth of the matter is, is that those things were only realistic in my mind. I made them real. I made them real in my mind. Um, things that I felt were impossible, they were only poss impossible in my mind. I feared failure um, because to me, failure was more realistic than being successful, all right? So therefore, um, when things appear real, uh, there are some effects to that uh, in our behaviors. There are some effects to that uh, in our actions. There are e some effects to that. Um, uh, this, this will really uh, ho hopefully be helpful to the procrastinators. Oh, wow. Um, I should probably do a whole segment on procrastinating, but I'll, I'll just touch on it a little bit in this segment. Um, many times the reason that people procrastinate is because there's something that they're fearing or avoiding um, because um, perhaps in their mind, uh, avoiding that particular thing um uh, release some level of stress to them because they fear uh an element of that particular thing i'll give you an example when i was filling out the paperwork uh to get the uh federal status for our, uh, my record label because of me feeling inadequate uh, and incapable of filling out federal documents. I'm like, this is a really big thing. Like, uh, also, other people uh, kind of put fears in my head that only a lawyer can do this, and um, no one has ever been able to do this before. Um, that built up. Uh, anxiety or same thing fear in my mind all right so I procrastinated some days all right because I feared uh, them turning me down but I thank God for giving me confidence because one day he told me, and he made it very plain and simple to me. He said, you know how to write a song. And I said, yes, I want to write a song. It's no problem for me to write a song. And he said, well, when you write a song, in that song, you begin with the concept. And then you just fill out the rest of the words in the song to uh, tell a story or to fulfill the purpose of the concept. He said, this paperwork that you need to fill out, all they're asking you for is the song that describes your record label. And it was like an enlightenment or a light went off. It was like it, 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 the fear disappeared, okay? Uh, because I knew how to write a song. So when I could relate 
to that understanding and know that oh, okay, all they're gonna all they're really asking me for is the concept of my record label that I knew. So the fear disappeared. The fear itself didn't disappear, but I got an antidote for that uh, fear uh, was confidence, all right? Uh, and so what uh, me having the understanding opened the door for me, so to speak, and it removed the doubt, it removed the fear, it removed the anxiety, it removed the uh, feelings of in being inadequate. And all of a sudden, I felt very confident and able to, you know, I, that I had the ability to do this and do it well, um, because I knew that I, I'm like, I, I'm very good at writing songs, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cold bitch. So I said, well, uh, I can do that, and I'm definitely uh, sure about my vision for the record label. So uh, to to place that in the perimeters of a concept, oh, that's easy to do, you know. And I got to write, and I wrote and wrote, wrote. I wrote so much that um, it was almost like a book when I got through. <laughs> uh, so I uh, I submitted that, and it was approved. Uh, long story short, uh, but I wanted to share that with you all uh, how uh, the fear that, I, you know, and the reasons that I procrastinated on filling out the paperwork was because I feared something that wasn't really realistic. You know, I, I, I in my mind at the time when I was procrastinating, I uh, there was this, this this big monster of life, you know, keeping me from my dreams, and <laughs> um, it, it was a big gate, you know, uh, with a padlock on it of, that said, "Keep out! You can't come in here. Uh, you don't. You're not qualified." You know, and. Uh, I'm just so thankful uh, to God. He's a very good teacher, um, and he's he's taught me many things in life that, uh, with my disabilities, that I would not have been able to accomplish if not if it had not been for him teaching, breaking things down to me in the lowest terms, uh, where I could uh, grasp them and uh, take hold upon them and and uh, overcome you know, certain things in life that, uh, different stigmas that, uh, sometimes life or you know, people will put stigmas on you and tell you that because of this, you can't do this. And, uh, I, I, I noticed that a lot with, uh, the black race. Um, they, uh, we, we do have, um, some, um, how should I put it? We do have some things that we have to overcome. That's a little extra, you know, than uh, other people. But um, having a little extra to do to accomplish your goals, it's not the same thing as not being able to do it at all, you know. Um, so I said that to encourage anyone and everyone who is embarking upon something that seems impossible. Uh, one of the uh, things that I always say, and people quote me, I find uh, one thing that I always say is that things ain't always what they seem. And uh, I say that a lot because I have come across situations where people lie, pretend, and um, I've had fears within myself or other people have tried to cause me to doubt myself or to doubt my ability to uh, reach a certain goal or uh, accomplish something. And um, over and over again, I have proven them wrong or I have exposed people for what they really are um, a lot of times people will try to 
uh, put fear in you and doubt in you. Um, people call them fear mongers. All right. And uh, a lot of times people will try to uh, put fear in you um, because, and not, and it's not, may not be intentional all the time. Uh, sometimes people fear themselves. You know, they have fear within them. And, and they doubt themselves and they don't see where this, uh, what it, whatever it is that you're trying to do as being possible. And so they relay that to you and kind of uh, uh, transfer their negative uh, beliefs or negative uh, mentality upon you. And you may not even realize it. I, I, went to the uh, business association to get some help with my uh, paperwork on my uh, record label and um, it's called scores that C I mean I'm sorry S C O R E um, and and they're supposed to help you uh, with business planning and things of that nature but they were no help to me as a matter of fact they told me that their so-called experts told me that I couldn't do it. Well, it's done. <laughs> it's done. Uh, and, and that's why uh, I'm so confident in um, reaching further goals. Uh, we've actually uh, made history because we are the first record label in the history of the music industry. Uh, to acquire a federal status that we've obtained. So I'm very proud of that. Um, but most importantly, I am thankful for the uh, success of reaching this level because it is a testament to other people that look at my life and see, and see my struggles and they know up close and, it, and it's been an encouragement to them uh, to go after uh, their dreams. And so I'm very thankful for that, of being an example of um, um, success in, in, in that degree. Um, many times in life, you'll find people that uh, will discourage you and they will um try to keep you uh from reaching your goals sometimes it's, it's it's not intentional but then you do have people out there a lot of people refer to them as haters all right and yes there are some haters out there that uh will try to keep you from your goals and they'll do all that they can to verbally um knock down everything you build and they'll verbally try to uh, destroy a, uh, your, or your hopes and your dreams. They'll verbally try to um, uh, eliminate all hope. Um, and uh, I want to encourage you to fight back. Uh, I want to encourage you to fight back. Um, because um, at the end of that tunnel, there's some light, okay? And you're guaranteed to succeed if you don't give up. Um, that's worth repeating. You're guaranteed, you're guaranteed to succeed if you don't give up. Because fear is a liar, all right? And anyone that's trying to instill fear in you or doubt in you, which is the same thing, um, they are liars too. They are liars. You have people that, uh, like I said, uh, these so-called experts and people that are not even experts, but they put themselves in that position as if they are experts and they'll pretend that they know what the fuck they talking about and, and really they are just nobodies and they couldn't possibly tell you how to be somebody because all they know how to do is be nobody all right 
and, and that's not to belittle anyone, but that's just some real shit. And one thing you can depend on candy for is candy keep it real. Okay. Uh, just keep it real. All right. And that's some real shit. You know, people can't tell you how to be successful at something and they have never embarked upon anything, any level of success. Where are they going to get their information from? Eh? You know, just think about it. Where are they going to get their information from? If they ain't done shit, where are they going to get their information from to tell you how to be successful? Don't think about it. Give it a little thought. Let it marinate a little while and get back with me on that one. Okay. Um, some things, if you just think about it a little while, you'll come up with a very practical answer that's suitable for the circumstances. Um, I've been in... Uh, A business entrepreneurial uh, lane for a long time and I have I don't know what it is about challenges that I uh, anything that's easy it just seems like I'm not interested <laughs> in easy shit I don't know what it is it's, I don't know if it's a defect in my mind or what it is y'all but things that's easy, I don't even have interest in. But anything that uh, I come up on and, and people say, nobody's never done this, or this has never been done, or they don't have this, or they don't, you can't, and, oh, wow. As soon as somebody say you can't, that's a wrap I'm going after. <laughs> And then, and, and uh, uh, I'm a stubborn ass Scorpio, and so I don't give up till I get it. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I just have it in my mind that you can tell me I ain't going to be successful, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to tell you I'm going to die trying. <laughs> I'm going to die trying. That's for sure. And I ain't going to give up until... Uh, I give up satisfaction that um, I conquered that particular mountain. And uh, I, I just uh, wanted to share that with y'all today, uh, that fear is a liar. Don't believe it. I'm telling you now, don't believe the person that's trying to instill fear in you. Uh, don't believe your circumstances or your lack thereof. I started my record label while living in a homeless shelter, and a lot of people laughed. They mocked me. They made fun of me and everything. Uh, but I got the last laugh today. And so um, people go going to laugh. They're going to talk, and they're going to uh, – uh, I've even had people to try to literally – um sabotage my uh performances uh, uh you name it um uh sabotage my video footage uh sabotage my record recordings i'm i'm talking about every step of the way okay it seemed like every step of the way it was sabotage 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 um but I didn't give up. I cried many nights. And that's real talk. I cried many nights. But when I got up in that morning, uh, you know, the next morning, I talked to God and said, well, what are we going to do today? You know, and he would guide me. And I mean, every step of the way. It seemed like certain days when it would seem like nothing was going to happen. I remember one day walking, uh, I left the shelter and um, I went to a place where all the people gathered at and in town. And if it had not been that I was homeless at that particular time and there at that particular day, I met the mayor of the city personally 
and uh, gave him my business card and stuff like that because I was prepared uh, with the business card. I was prepared for success. All right. I was prepared for it. You know, um, and so I did meet the mayor uh, and talk to him personally about my uh, desires and uh, my vision for Real Raw Records. And uh, that really gave me a lot of encouragement. Um, and, and that wasn't the only person that I met that was a, a power mover, but um, I'm just using that one particular is instance as an example of how um even when it seems like you're at your worst or you're in the worst predicament you could be in um just holding on to hope you know and just believing in your dreams and uh going after it with every step you take with every move you make it seems like the whole universe gets on your side and ride with you, you know. Um, but you got to see yourself being successful first, okay? And uh, that will require you to reach beyond um, what um, appears to be real. Uh, and when I say appears to be real, is um, the reality of my situation at the time when I started this record label. The reality was I was in a homeless shelter. But what also was the reality was I was working my ass off towards uh, the success of the label, okay? And I could see the success before uh, I obtained it. You know, I already see us. Um, even now, we're working on a uh, state of the art um, recording studio uh, and um, building, building on what we've already started. And um, we're going to have a multi seating theater uh, uh, performance center. And so I can see that. I can see it in its um fullness in its manifestation so um it's no doubt that it it, it it has no other choice but to manifest um and to be be a reality not only just to me and my team but also to others that are um that are going to be attending it, it, it is going to uh, manifest and um so uh those things that you fear um whether it's i don't have a degree or how can i do this i can't i can't do this or i can't do that or um perhaps you believing for healing for yourself, for, for someone that you, your loved one, for cancer, whatever. Um, there's a song, I'm a, and I'm seeing this, just a piece of it, uh, that my grandmother used to sing. And it, it's really encouraged me in my times of wavering and doubting a little bit. And I'm going to sing a little bit of that for you. And, uh, um probably in this uh broadcast if no one comes in and wants to contribute uh, to the topic but the song goes like this holy believe holy believe all things are possible if you don't only, only believe, only believe. 
Yeah, if you'd only 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 um, My voice is a little cracky, but the words of the song is only believe Only believe All things are possible if you only believe uh, so I'm going to leave you all with that and uh, we're going to have another session. I, I think it's um, fear is important enough not to focus on, but it is important enough subject that it needs to be dealt with. So we are going to do some more segments, but in the meantime and in between time, only I believe all things are oh, oh, possible if you know only out there if you only believe um in the meantime in between time keep it real or take your ass back to fantasy land